Hey folks, Orlando Prepper coming at you with a couple of quick tips on how to get maximum performance out of your solar panels. Uh, living here in the northern hemisphere, we know we have to point our panels south. So we're going to act like that camera right there is the magnetic southern pole, where if you use a compass and you find south, that camera is where you would be pointing at exactly. But when you're placing solar panels in a permanent position, you don't want to point, it, point them to magnetic south. You want to point them to true south, which is nine degrees east of magnetic south. So you turn that panel nine degrees to the east. That way you get the true south, and when the sun goes across the sky, you get maximum exposure on the panel. Now on your angle, a uh, good rule of thumb is that you use your latitude. You're, uh, like here in Orlando, we're at 28.5. You would set the angle on this dish at 28.5. But that will not get you maximum performance. You have to add 10 degrees to that to get the best you can get out of any panels you mount in a permanent position. Here in Orlando, like I said, it's 10 degrees. So we'd raise that up 10 degrees. But that changes, those degrees change across the earth as you go for uh, further north and south. If you're at latitude, say, zero to four, your panel should always be mounted at 10 degrees. If you're at five degrees to 20 degrees, you add five degrees to the angle on your dish. 21 to 45, you need to add 10 degrees, like, like I would do here in Orlando. 46 to 64, you add 15 degrees. Now, anybody above that latitude at 65 or more, you mount your panels permanently at 80 degrees. That way you get the best performance out of your panels and they should always be in pretty good shape as long as you keep them clean. With that, I'm gonna say, stay strong, stay patriotic, come and watch us on Monday night live at 7 p.m. Eastern time for our live streams. And if these tips help you out, Check out my other videos. I might have something else down there that helps you. Click that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a member here. I'd greatly appreciate it. And with that, the Orlando Prepper is out.